Greetings in the name of our Father God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. I am Apostle Sean Johnson, and welcome to Get Right With God. I thank God for my beautiful and blessed wife, Pastor Michelle Irby Johnson, and I thank you for joining me on the broadcast. I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Get Right With God TV Official, and click the bell to get notifications so you'll know when I am posting new content. With that said, let us pray. Father God, you be glorified. Let your people be edified. Let souls be saved and sanctified. And let the devil and his demons be horrified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I have a special announcement. I have a special announcement. I want to invite you all to the 2023 virtual men's encounter. Yes, 2020-23 virtual men's encounter. The theme is dudes ready to take dominion. We're coming from Genesis chapter number one, verse 26. It will be held on Saturday, June 24th, starting at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is absolutely free. You do not have to pay to attend. It's free to attend. It will be broadcasting on Zoom. The ID is 859-2512-0336. That's 859-2512-0336. We have some sound speakers ready to take dominion. So I'm gonna invite you to share with your family, your friends, your ministries, your networks, that we are having a 2023 virtual men's encounter. I invite everyone to join us. Amen. Thank you so much for your support. All right, let's get right into the word of God. Let's get right into scripture. We'll be coming from Revelation chapter number four, verses one and two. Revelation chapter number four, verses one and two. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Your translation may be different, but the meaning is always the same. Here now in the reading of God's word. After these things, I looked and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking was saying come up here and i will show you things which must take place after this immediately i was in the spirit and behold a throne set in heaven amen amen may the lord add a blessing to the readers hearers and most importantly the doers of his word. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to let you know that this time of transition and elevation, the Lord is taking his people through open doors. The Lord is saying to his people, I see what you've done. Now see what I've done. I have an open door before you. Revelation chapter number three, verse 20 says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. The open door is the Lord's gift to the conquerors, to the overcomers, to the victors, to the warriors, to the ambassadors, to the apostles, to the prophets, to the evangelists, to the pastors and teachers, to the ecclesia, the chosen one, the body of Christ. This is the year 
2023 is the year. This is the hour. This is the Lord's Kairos time to enter in the realm of release. This is the time to enter the realm of release. My God from Zion, let's go in. Let's talk about the realm of release. Now that we are ready for the realm, we must move swiftly so we can experience the release. In this apostolic and prophetic declaration, John records the heavenly sight he saw of his second vision in Revelation chapter number four, verses one through seven, and then the heavenly songs he heard in Revelation chapter number four, verses eight through 11. John sets the scene with a vision of Christ. He sees Christ's garments, his eyes, his head, his hair, his feet, and his voice. He hears his voice. John saw in Christ's right hand seven stars, and the seven stars are the seven angels. I see in the spirit stars, angels, messengers, infusers, called apostles and prophets, assigned, affirmed, appointed, and anointed to clearly and hear attentively the voice of the Lord in these last and evil days. In obedience, John wrote the things which he had seen. He introduces the glorious appearance of our Lord, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, whose throne is in heaven, compassed about with the heavenly host. On, not only John sees the vision of Christ, but he sees him walking in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, the lampstands, which are God's seven churches. The seven churches represent all the churches of all ages. John lived in the same dispensation, same age of grace that we live in today. Seven means fullness and completion. Seven means fullness and completion. I hear in the spirit saying, I hear the spirit saying, God is bringing you to a place of fullness which includes his supernatural favor, and he is fulfilling and delivering you up to supernatural completion. In this dispensation, the apostle and the prophet must prepare to shift into promoted position. I hope you caught that. The God of the angel armies is confirming and affirming, decreeing and declaring, proclaiming and promoting a radiant ram for a radical release of supernatural proportions. My God, let's look at the text. Before John sees another vision after these things, there is a divine order in divine motion, releasing divine manifestation and identifying Jesus as the divine Messiah to these divine churches. Not only Jesus Christ identifies himself, he commends the church, he condemns the church, and he warns the church. One of the churches I see as faithful is Philadelphia. This church means open door. It represents the great missionary movement. They had an open door. They had a little strength. They had kept the word of God and they had not denied the Lord. Jesus said in Matthew 25 and 23, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things, but will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. My God, come and let's celebrate together. He said, come and, and enter the joy of the Lord. 
if we want to be commended by Christ, like this church in this hour, we must answer the voice of Jesus Christ and get ready to go through open doors of ministry, depend on his strength and be true in him and his word. From an angel, the Lord spoke and said in Revelation chapter number three, verse seven, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write the words of the Holy One, the true one who has the key of David, who opens and no one shut, who shuts and no one opens. In this apostolic and prophetic movement, Jesus is revealing his holiness, sovereignty, and authority in our lives. In other words, it's time to beef up your boldness. Be bold with your witness. Be bold with your words. Be bold with, with sharing and proclaiming and promoting the word of God. Be bold with your teaching and testimony. Be bold with your preaching and prophesying. The apostle Paul said in Hebrews chapter number four, verse 16, he said, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need because of the anointed one who is Jesus Christ, who is our Messiah, who is Yeshua. You will have the audacity and absolute authority to move in supernatural levels, supernatural seasons, supernatural realms, supernatural hubs, and supernatural dis dispensation and dimensions. My God, he is the only one who opens and shuts doors in our lives and no one can tell him no. Jesus sees your potential because you said yes. My God, Jesus sees your potential because you said yes. He sees that you have been praying because you said Yes, he sees that you have been pursuing the things of God because you said yes. With urgency, he is making you his priority to be in the place of the open doors because you said yes. Everything is in your yes. Your obedience is in your yes. Your will is in his yes. God is saying, yes, he is giving you a yes. He is giving you a yes in 2023. And he's giving you this yes to go through these open doors that would accompany your yes. From this apostolic and prophetic message, the Lord is saying, you are clear for takeoff. It is time to ascend and enter, ascend and enter. John said, the first voice in my vision called out, ascend and enter. The word ascend means to rise and go up, ascend and enter. John is raptured up to heaven. It was a harbinger of the rapture of the church at the end of the church age. A harbinger is a powerful prophetic warning released. This is the hour when men and women need to rise up. This is the hour when men and women need to rise up. Pastor Christian Chapman um, from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, he stated, and I quote, God did not create you for weakness, but greatness. God did not create you for weakness, but greatness. There are a lot of weak leaders in the world and the church is operating in disobedience and lack of integrity. They lack the passion and compassion of Jesus Christ. Let me say it again. They lack the passion and compassion of Jesus Christ. Amen. The church is operating in disobedience. There are a lot of weak leaders in the world, especially in the church. 
Do not lose your ability. Do not lose your anointing. Do not lose your assignments. And do not be out of alignment with God. Amen. But make sure that you live a life of integrity, of dignity. Amen. God is trying to get our attention in this hour. Because you see a lot of calamity, a lot of chaos, a lot of craziness, a lot of confusion. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. And God is getting our attention in this hour. And he is saying, rise up, come up, ascend up. The door is open and the Lord wants us to come up to a prepared place and position. He wants us to discover his mysteries, his oracles, his voice. The Lord is removing the veil and he is revealing his revelation in our lives. This is not the hour to pretend like you know him. This is the hour to pursue the things of God, to pursue Jesus Christ like never before. Matthew chapter number six, verse 33 says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. He didn't say seek Buddha. He didn't say seek Confucius. He didn't say seek Allah. He didn't say seek um, being an atheist. He didn't say none of that. He didn't say seek um, world religion. He didn't say seek um, newfound earth religion, all these upper type of religions. He didn't say that. He said seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. When you rise up, level up, ascend up and enter, God will give you his best and nothing less. God will give you his best and nothing less. God wants uh, to do a great work in your life. Jesus said, greater works shall you do. In God's reality, you have God's provisions. You have his promises. You have a purpose in him. You have his apostolic and prophetic word in your mouth to tell the world that God is intentionally getting our attention so his body of believers can be his forerunners and harbingers in the earth after you ascend and enter. From this apostolic and prophetic message, the Lord is saying, you are clear for takeoff. It is time to appear and embark. Appear and embark. The Lord said to John, I'll show you what happens next. After John ascended and entered, he appeared and embarked. The, the, to prepare John for the vision, a trumpet was sounded and he was called up into heaven. John needed to have prophetic insight of the things that was, was going on to happen next. He already knew what was but he didn't even know what was going to happen next. What is your next? What's your next? In 2023, you have been asking God to show you more. I know I've been asking God to show me more. I know I've been asking God to do more in my life. But are you willing to take the chance, take the risk to go all in for God? What is your next? What is the more that you want God to show you? You have been asking God to show you some things, amen, in the spirit. You have been asking God to demonstrate his signs, miracles, and wonders in your life. What is your next? I hear in the spirit promotion. I hear in the spirit elevation. I hear in the spirit ascension. I hear in the spirit affirmation. I hear in the spirit ordination. I hear in the spirit confirmation. I hear in the spirit consecration. I hear in the spirit uh, that there is more for you. Amen. There is a next. The Lord is saying to you, my brother and sister, there is no more time to wait. Your next is now. Your next is now. When the trumpet sounded at the wall of Jericho, the children of Israel got into position. Mm -hmm. They were given one command and that command is shout. My God, shout with a loud voice. Shout, shout with your trumpet. Shout, shout with your shofar, your ram's horn. Shout, shout while you got your Bible 
held high in the air and waving it like you just don't care. Shout, shout with a loud voice. Shout, cry loud and spare not. Shout in the wilderness. Shout in front of the wickedness. Shout in this wicked, weird witchcraft of a world. Shout to break through the barriers and get to God, you have to shout with the trumpet sound. You got to shout when the trumpet sound. The trumpet is sounding right now. Can you hear it? The trumpet is sounding right now. The trumpet is sounding in Zion. The trumpet is sounding in your ministry. The trumpet is sounding in your household. The trumpet is sounding in your marriage. The trumpet is sounding over your children. The trumpet is sounding in your life. The trumpet is sounding. The trumpet is sounding and the door is open. God is revealing uh, strategies. My God, God is revealing principles. God is revealing blueprints. God is revealing designs. Ah, God, uh, God is revealing his plans for you. All you have to do is receive it at the sound of the trumpet. I hear a kingdom sound in the atmosphere. I hear kingdom sound in the climate. I hear kingdom sound reverberating in your life. A kingdom sound blasted by kingdom, by a sound of the trumpet and you shall receive it. You shall believe it and you shall hear it. You shall hear it in your spirit. You have been running and running from your calling and purpose knowing that God chose you for such a time as this. And he is saying, appear and embark. Appear and embark. When you appear before God, he will reveal. When you embark before God, he will release. God is intentionally getting our attention so his chosen ones can be the forerunners and harbingers in the earth after you appear and embark. Got one more. From this apostolic and prophetic message, the Lord is saying, you are clear for takeoff. It is time to ascend and enter. It is time to appear and embark. And it is time to arrive and emerge. Arrive and emerge. John said, I was caught up at once in deep worship. In Revelation chapter number four, I love when God shows John the hereafter. He sees the vision. He hears the trumpet sound. He was called up into heaven. As the prophet of God, he was chosen to enter in. When you arrive to your divine destination with your deep worship and devotion to God, there will be some deeper understanding, some deeper wisdom, some deeper knowledge of the, of the times and seasons we are living in. The Bible says in First Chronicles chapter number 12, Verse 32 of Issachar, men who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, 200 chiefs and all their kinsmen under their command. They were a desperate people in desperate times. And I hear the saying, desperate times call for desperate measures. Desperate times call for desperate measures. God is not looking for suckers and sissies in the kingdom of God. God is not looking for suckers and sissies in the fivefold ministry. God is charging and commanding apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers who are desperate, determined, and dedicated, hungry, and thirsty for righteousness. Kingdom citizens with a kingdom mindset who will cry loud and spare not, who will be soldiers on the battlefield fighting for our Lord, soldiers who will stand in the gap and make up the hedge, soldiers who are armed and dangerous, uh, 
armed and dangerous warriors with the whole armor of God ready to set it off, set it off by any means necessary. My God, the future of souls is hanging in the balance and God is requiring bold leadership to take the lead, to take the kingdom by force, to take dominion by force filling and subduing it. It is going to take worship to enter in God's heavens. I don't care what you got to do. If you got to pray on your knees, it's going to take worship. If you got to throw your hands up, it's going to take worship. If you got to lift up your voices, it's going to take worship. It's going to take communing with God in your worship to get to him, to enter in into God's heavens. God is doing something in your life. God is showing you some things in this hour. And he's saying on tonight, he is saying on today, he is saying to your life, there is a ram of release that's taking place in you, for you, through you, so you can enter in, so you can go in. It is going to take your worship to enter in God's open door. The way is open for holiness and his sons and daughters shall enter by faith and come out with favor. Do you hear what I'm saying? The way is open for holiness and his sons and daughters shall enter by faith and come out with favor. My God from the side, enter by faith and come out by faith. Hey, help me out, Joel. As I hope you out, Sean. Huh? And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. My son, Sean Jr. shall prophesy. My son, Matthew shall prophesy. My son, Jordan shall prophesy. My daughter, LaShawn shall prophesy. My grandson, Cameron shall prophesy. My children shall prophesy. They shall prophesy in the city, prophesy in the states, prophesy in the regions, prophesy in America prophesy in the nations, prophesy in Israel and Jerusalem, prophesy domestically and internationally. Your children and my children, our sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. God is pouring out his spirit in 2023 and he's revealing Revealing and manifesting himself in his glory through his people. We are glory carriers. We are kingdom ambassadors. We are disciples for Christ. And we have to tap in. The prophet Joel, he tapped in. The apostle John, he tapped in. Apostle Sean is tapping in. I'm encouraging you to tap in. You must tap in 2023 and you must go and get get closer to God. You must enter in, you must go in, and you must get to God by any means necessary. This is the hour where we invite the Holy Spirit to send revival to every single nation, to endow us with power uh, to endow us uh, with strength, uh, to endow us uh, with the spirit of prophecy uh, so we can be intentional uh, with God's divine influence. Uh, this is the hour uh, where we are tapped in so deep uh, when our worship uh, uh, is consistent and constant, uh, where we have communion and we sup uh, with God uh, like never before. When you worship God for real, for real, there will be a glory cloud that will transition us from one place of manifestation to the next. My God. So drop everything you thought was working in the last season because God is on duty to deal with you in this season to take you to the realm of release. As I close, the Lord spoke and said to John, when you see the church again, it will be in the revelation. The church disappears 
from the earth until the 19th chapter when the Lord comes with his saints. The church is raptured. Then there's tribulation and great tribulation and so forth and so on. If you want to learn more about Revelation, go on my YouTube channel, Get Right With God TV Official. Go to the playlist, Revelation, from introduction all the way to the last chapter, the very end. I teach on Revelation. So if you want to know about the church will be raptured into heaven, into the kingdom with Jesus Christ. And will come back with Jesus Christ so he can set up his kingdom on and with a new heaven and new earth in New Jerusalem. Before the church is raptured in heaven, we still got work to do. We still have work to do in the earth. Souls must be saved. Lives must be changed. What are you waiting for? As you transition, make transactions. As you transition, make transactions. As you go with dunamis power, make disciples and in power. As you go with dunamis power, make disciples and in power. When all hell is breaking loose, my God, and, 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 and just look around, all hell is breaking loose. We must prepare God's people for the rapture. That's my prayer every single day. God, help me, help your disciples. God, send souls and sinners and backsliders and laws um, to your kingdom so they can be ready for the rapture. We must prepare God's people for the rapture. It is the vision of the open door that John saw. He saw a glorious throne. He saw the seat of honor, authority, and judgment. Heaven is the throne of God. That's the theme of this chapter, chapter number four, the throne of heaven. Heaven is the throne of God. He resides in glory. There will we will there we will see there in his glory. We will see his countenance like jasper and emerald. Um, if you continue to read on, you see the whole description of God's kingdom. It's beautiful. I can't even, I can see it. I could try to imagine it, but we, we can't imagine until we get there. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be glorious. And that's who God is. God is a glorious God. God wants his glory and his presence to be revealed in the earth and the power of Holy Spirit to set off revival and call people to repentance. Preach repentance. Preach holiness. Preach righteousness. Preach salvation. Preach the gospel. Not another gospel. Preach it. Proclaim it. Promote it. Because time is running out. John saw the 24 elders around the throne representing the whole church of God. God wants his apostles and prophets to position themselves around the world and serve as representatives and ambassadors to advance his kingdom. Jesus was there with God in his glory. John saw lightning and thunder and all this activity going on and heard voices from the th throne. He saw before the throne a, a, a sea of glass like, like, like crystal. Uh, he saw four animals being be put between the throne, which signified the ministers of the gospel. I, I encourage each and every one of you. I really do. I encourage each and every one of you to preach, proclaim, promote the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Preach the truth. Speak the truth in love. Tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. Preach in season and out of season. Uh-huh. Your job is serving Jesus to win souls for the kingdom of God. I'm still convinced that our Lord is able to do the supernatural. I'm convinced. I know in my heart. I know in my spirit. I am. I believe it. I'm a believer. I am still convinced that our Lord is able to do the supernatural. I am still optimistic about the ecclesia, the church, the body of Christ, the chosen ones. I am still enthusiastic about the kingdom advancing. I am still persuaded uh -huh, that there is nothing our God can do. I still believe. Greater is he who is in me, 
who is he that is in the world. I am still encouraged to know that no good thing will he, will he withhold from us if we walk upright. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his glory expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. And that comes from Ephesians chapter number two, verses six to seven, NIV, if you are checking me. The door is open, people. The door is open. And it's written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed to them to us through his spirit. God has revealed it to us through his spirit. God is revealing in this message that there is a realm of release. It is time for you, for us to ascend and enter, to appear and embark, to arrive and emerge so you can achieve and embrace. Achieve and embrace the kingdom of God, the things God has prepared for you, the things God has for you in this year, 2023, with an open door in the realm of release. If you are still living an unrepentant and rebellious life and have a need for salvation, so you can enter in. God is ready to redeem and restore you. But you got to want to be saved. You got to want to be redeemed. You got to want to be restored. You can run to Jesus Christ right now and repent. 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 I sincerely invite you to, to give your whole entire life to Jesus Christ today. This is an invitation of salvation. To give your life to Jesus Christ, please pray this prayer with me. Repeat after me. Say, dear Jesus, I am a sinner and I want to be saved. I repent of all of my sins. Please forgive me. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. Save me. Change me. Transform me. Free me. Wash me clean me, deliver me, baptize me, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, please replace my carnal and ghetto mentality and identity powered by fear with your kingdom identity and mentality powered by faith so I can experience the hope that I want to experience. So I can experience and enter into eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to welcome you to the family of God. As a believer and kingdom citizen, you must find yourself a Christ-centered and kingdom-driven ministry with a Christ-centered and kingdom-driven pastor and leaders who, who are going in the same direction you want to go, where you can grow, so reap, and expand. And on this journey with Jesus, you must build your relationship with him. You got to stay in God's word. You got to pray. You got to fast. You got to surround yourself with kingdom minded believers so you can be an effective disciple. So you can learn everything you need to learn to be an effective disciple. You must be a witness for Jesus Christ. You must develop into being a witness so you can reach the world. You can reach sinners and backsliders and family and friends and, and neighbors who are lost and don't know the way. And you are the one that can share your testimony on how Jesus saves so they can get right with God, so they can have eternal life. Once again, I want to welcome you to the family of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family of God. When Jesus returns, it's going to be a wonderful event. Will you be ready? Will you be ready to enter into the door? And will you be ready to enter into the realm of release? A few announcements. I'm going to pray and close out. To be a blessing 
to this ministry, I want to encourage you that you can give by Zell. My email address is drseanpjsr at gmail.com. That's drseanpjsr at gmail.com. D-R-S-H-A-U-N. PJSR at gmail.com. Your giving can help me to share the gospel globally, to reach as many people for, for Jesus Christ as I can. Amen. Amen. Connect with Apostolic Grace Evangelistic Fellowship. We are winning souls for God's kingdom. You can visit our website at www.agefellowship.org. That's www.agefellowship.org. Make sure you also visit my other website, which is a ministry website, seanjohnsonministries.com. That's www.seanjohnsonministries.com. You can book me for any event, revival, conference, uh, men's session, conferences, whatever, camp meetings. I am preaching a laundromat. As long as we're getting the word, the gospel out, you can book me anytime amen you want to book me my email address again is dr sean pjsr at gmail.com one kingdom publishing my wife and i are owners and co uh, and publishing consultants of one kingdom publishing and if you like more information about one kingdom publishing all you gotta do is visit our website at www.onekingdompublishing.com that's www.onekingdompublishing.com if you want to get published today you can send my wife an email. Her name is Michelle Irby Johnson. Her email address is Michelle with one L, M I C H E L E, at onekingdompublishing.com. That's Michelle at onekingdompublishing.com. Love Knots Weddings. Love Knots Weddings, a new venture that I've just started. I've been doing weddings as a minister, but I am now an official officially a, a wedding officiant, professional wedding officiant. And I, I, I built a website and I got information uh, on social media. And I want to share this experience with you. If you know a couple uh, who is looking to get married, they engage and looking to get married, um, they can reach out to me directly. Um, visit my website at www.lovenotsweddings.com. That's www.lovenotsweddings.com knotsweddings.com my email address is love knots wedding officiant at gmail.com i also provide with my wife premarital counseling and postmarital counseling so i look forward to your referrals so i can marry those who want to be married amen spj graphic designs is my graphic design business I've been doing this for 25 years. And if you need a flyer, a logo, a brochure, a postcard, a website done, I'm your man. I can do anything from a business card to a billboard. And I know a lot of different other areas as well as in the graphic design field. Again, I've been doing this for 25 years and I invite you to uh, send your projects to me. I would love to work with you to my email address at spjgraphicdesigns at gmail.com, spj, spj graphic designs at gmail.com, or you can visit my website at www.spjgraphicdesigns.com. That's www.spjgraphicdesigns.com. I have a book that's out and it's called Praise Breaks and it's $20. You want a copy signed by me and mailed directly to you, shipping handling is included. You can send me an email at drseanpjsr at gmail.com, and I will absolutely love to send you a signed copy of Praise Breaks. Praise Breaks is now out. Um, if you don't get it directly from me, you can always go on Amazon.com, but I would love for you to come directly from me so I can sign it for you, autograph it for you, put a nice message or note in there for you to encourage you to keep giving God praise no matter what. Amen. Watch Get Right With God TV official on Sundays at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Grace Point TV official with Pastor Michelle Irby Johnson 
on Sundays at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch on YouTube with those channels, those names, and you can watch on Facebook. We're both on Facebook and YouTube. So you can watch Grace Point TV official with Pastor Michelle R.B. Johnson on Sundays at 10 o'clock a.m. And you can watch Get Right With God TV official every Sunday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, YouTube and Facebook. Her YouTube, again, Grace Point TV official. My YouTube is Get Right With God TV official. My Facebook is Sean Patrick Johnson Sr., period. And her Facebook is Michelle Irby Johnson. So reach out to us. We'd love for you to watch. We'd love for you to subscribe and share, get notifications so you'll know when we are publishing new content. Amen. It's just not about getting subscribers but the reason why we want more subscribers and more people following us because we want to share the gospel of jesus christ with the world that's what it's all about amen 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 so let's pray out and then we're gonna close out father we thank you so much god for this message thank you for the open door thank you for the realm of release thank you for allowing it to manifest and happen this year Thank you so much, God, for what you're doing in our lives and how you are navigating our lives, even in the storms, even in the trials and tribulations, even with worries and frustrations, anxiety and depression, whatever it is, God is trying to attack us or come against us. We come against the enemy right now and we claim the devil a liar. We plead the blood of Jesus over the enemy. We plead the blood of Jesus over our family. We plead the blood of Jesus over our marriage. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children. We plead the blood of Jesus over our friends. We plead the blood of Jesus. And we thank you so much for being with us and for showing us through John of what is, what was, what is, and what's to come. And we know that Jesus is coming back. His return is imminent and we wanna be ready. We want to read pretty. Touch that person who needs a healing right now. Touch that person who needs just need a touch from you right now. Touch that person who just need uh, encouragement right now. Just touch that person, oh God, who just need a boost, a push right now. Touch that person who need a financial breakthrough right now. Touch that person right now who just need to have a deeper and close walk and relationship with you. Father, we love you so much and we give you praise, honor, and glory. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to Get Right with God. I am Apostle Sean Johnson. Souls must be saved. Lives must be changed. Do not wait. Do it now. God bless. <laughs>